That's a very important message, in my opinion. Uh, let me see what I can do on my side. Okay, how do I, how do I sound, everyone? Hello? Hello? Birds aren't real. Audible now. That's great. Okay, uh okay awesome. Yay! Hey, Nano! Hi, everyone. I'm clone of me and Panther. Hi, everyone. Welcome in. You know what I think, Slug? I think the people have waited long enough. Let's get this race started. You want to get started? You want to go? So this go. is the Night Panic Cup. Once again, it will be always a Doc Seed, um, which is random start and magic can't require that in the seed. And then also it will always be PSI extended. And the flag on this seed set for the first um, first round of brackets is generate food. Hey, Rocky. And here we go, a near perfect start from both the racers. Their time is completely synced up. They're starting off in Saturn Valley, it looks like. Yeah, and so with the Doc Saturn Seeds, you're gonna see that they have three places to start off. So they also had Tucson and Foreside. Saturn Valley's not a bad place to start. You do get a couple of um, gift boxes, you know, just to start out with. So you can get some gear since you're just Ness alone. And it looks like some okay gear here in the uh, trash can presence. Uh, got a Mr. Baseball hat, I think, and a cheap bracelet from that one on the outside. Cheap bracelet and a slingshot. So uh, for the first few minutes of the seed, you're going to see some sort of, you know, linear actions from both of the racers. And then, you know, we'll see from there where it starts to diverge. Hi, Sarah. And I really like the play that Unknown is going for here. I, he's going to sell that Brainstone, I think, and go uh, talk to an Apple kid. Yeah. I feel like you always get a Brainstone rather early in Doc Saturn Seas, which is a nice 150 bucks to get you maybe some uh, better bat or something like that. Absolutely, and that can make all the difference, especially when you're just, um, you don't have any kid checks yet, so... Mm -hmm. You just all nest buys lonesome. You're you're but one little nest in the world of Eagle Land. Um, and something you'll see with generate food um, that sometimes can make racers a little apprehensive or wary is that repel sandwiches are randomized. So they're not always going to be just in a bakery or somewhere like that. They're going to be multiple different places. Um, and they have different names and different um, durations of how long they will repel. And so it can be a little difficult to find what you need. And so sometimes the racers are going to have to go through uh, these seeds, um, having to use the old school method of despawning. It looks like it might have been a mistake and Unknown's actually skipping Apple Kid while Andy is going for it. Yeah, so we're going to see what Apple Kid has. Um, I wonder what Andy did to have extra money. He might have sold that uh, Mr. Baseball hat. Oh, yeah, that would be 100 bucks right there. And the Brainstone. So he got the key to the cabin. Not super, super helpful right now. They don't have access to um, Peaceful Rest Valley without that pencil eraser. Right. And so Moonside would pr is pretty much one of the go-tos right now also they can go and check and see what is in the desert but it looks like moonside enemies aren't too difficult they look like tucson you know tucson scale the rambling old party man or he's annoying sorry that is true yeah and taking him down getting a little bit of that early xp although we do see some diamonds i think you're on, right on the money those are peaceful rest Valley robots, so the spinning, yeah. whirling robo. I, I can't remember exactly what the name is. Um, I think it's spinning. Uh, 
And uh, speaking of that generated food repel sandwiches, uh, Unknown has found it on his side, <laughs> the durian. Yes. And so in the race last night, um, neither of the runners, I don't know if Jobs just never saw the durian, but Crimson Green wasn't aware that the durian is a repel item. And it's kind of a little bit of a brain teaser, if you will, that Tolmar snuck in there where you have to think to yourself, well, you know, you, first you have to be aware that a durian smells really terrible, just, you know, in real life. And then to kind of be like, well, you know, if it smells bad, it's probably going to repel things away from me. So it can, it can make a difference knowing that the durian is a repel item or not. Absolutely. And it looks like, did Unknown just dip out? Um, I would think, oh, look, there's a pudding boy. Yeah, I think so. And we'll see if Andy goes ahead and takes the fight. I don't know why Unknown would have done that. Um, yeah, I'm, but, I'm not uh, sure, but you know? smart idea by checking the desert. I mean, I think that's about all the only checks that they have left to check. I mean, he could still go back and do Apple Kid. Maybe yeah, he's... It looks, looks like Andy might not know that Durian. No, no, he doesn't. Um, I think Andy's going to go for it here, and I mean, I, oh, yeah. I would as well. Probably. Right, with the level of enemies that you were running into, um, a couple of, you know, a couple of fights and you should have enough to take care of whatever the boss is down here, which I haven't seen yet. Um, unknown going straight for the mines. And it is a um, preset flag now that in Dock Saturn Seeds, they will be a bridge dungeon. Yep, that is standard in Dock Saturn now. Is that? It's a rat. Oh, it's a rat. Oh, oh dear. That could be bad. Maybe that. Maybe that's why Unknown turned around because that rat is gonna smash. That's true, but at least he doesn't have to worry about poison. It's so early in the seed that that is gonna get scaled down to just catching a cold. Right. And it looks like Andy got through it. He bought those brain food lunches, which is a good play. Um, Unknown getting a clutch life up there. Uh, and taking out Thunder and Storm. Same over on Andy's side. That He almost died before he got that life up off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely some clutch moves. Um, we're going to see what the monkey item is. I did not catch what the mines item is. Did anyone see that? Uh, I did not either. He, he just right. went by him so fast. I'm not even sure if he talked to him, but I have to imagine he did. And now did I just miss what the monkey item was as well? That was no. that was zombie paper. I caught that oh, one. Oh, zombie paper. Okay, okay. So, um... Huh. I, a little uh, fairly 100% useless. It is really interesting that both the checks that Andy has done so far have been items he can't use. Oh, right, yeah. And, um, I mean, you don't need the zombie paper. They don't even have three, so. They also starting out in, started in, yeah, Saturn Valley. Yeah, exactly, yeah, started in Saturn Valley, so even if they did have access to three, you could just use it to get it out of your inventory. All right, we're going to find out that they have diamonds. Yeah, that is definitely the check you want to go for in this case. For sure, for sure. Because that's going to give three to access, and it's going to replace itself as a key item from the item from Venus. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what she has for us. And let's get those predictions in chat. Who is the kid check going to be in three? Because we're going to see that in both run of screens very soon. Personally, Ooh. Slug, I'm dying uh, for flying. Are you? I, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> well, personally, um, you know, in, in my honest opinion, uh, I think I might be ready for Teddy. I don't know. What do y'all think? So, some bold calls. <laughs> um, I hope it's Jeff, because they have threed, right? Uh, or they will have threed in the near future. Um, and then that way, that is another key item, plus the boogie tent check. So it's going to hopefully open up the seat a bit, because it's a little closed off right now. Honestly, any of the kids are going to be good in this spot. Because at least Pooh comes with a key item, and for Paula, she doesn't. But they do have access to Tucson, so they could try the Everdread sl slot. 
Yes, for sure, for sure. And also, Paula has good um, PSPI capabilities. So. Well, normally she does. And in this, with the extended PSI, she might not. That's true. Do you want to explain um, PSI extension for anyone who might not know? Yeah, for sure. So normally... Uh, you can have normal PSI like in the vanilla game of Earthbound. You can also have um, PSI Shuffle. And what that does is it takes all the PSI that the kids normally learn and shuffle them around between the three kids who can use PSI. Now, for the Night Pendant Cup, we're doing an extended PSI Shuffle. What that means is not only are those kids' PSIs shuffled, but those PSIs are shuffled with Jeff items as well. So you can see bottle rockets that are actually Flash. Or you can see... You know, a bomb that's Starstorm. That's right. And once you get that rocket beta, game over. Just send it from there. Okay, so we're seeing that Unknown is finished with the mines and getting that um, fairly, I mean, you could avoid it, but pretty much unavoidable pickle. I think it takes more time to try and teleport away. Oh, he's, he's full of items. Get rid of that broken spray can. There you go. Um, and so we're going to see access to Threed and the Venus item coming up very soon. Uh, a note slight, very, yes. Very slightly, I would say. So uh, here we'll see Andy do the little skip. Which maybe is a few seconds less. Now, if the item from uh, Venus is a pencil eraser, Andy's off to the races. Uh, he he's doesn't have four sinks, but he's already got that key to the cabin from Apple Kid. He's already put in the work. Yeah, but at this point, Unknown has plenty of money to pay off Apple Kid. Um, so it should be, you know, a check on his list, I can only imagine. True, but it's still going to cost him some time that Andy's already put in as the what I was trying to get at. Mm -hmm. But if we see Paula in three, that, that could be an easy one too. True. Uh, what did Venus give him? Okay, we're about to find out again. I have to concentrate real hard. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> Why? Oh man. Okay. Weird. All right. The seed is all over the place. Seed? Who rolled this seed? Oh, you can take. <laughs> you can thank a, a tax slug uh, one for this one. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna see who the kids are, or the kid check. Uh, not because she rolled it, because she didn't roll it, so I had to. So, so it still comes around to being your fault. Okay. Fair enough. I'll take the blame. I'm a punching bag. <laughs> I gotta go. No, I'm just kidding. So, like I was mentioning early, early on, the seed is still fairly linear. Um, and we will most likely see some divergence very soon. I mean, really, the biggest divergence we could see would be something like... I don't know. If they could get to Onet, that would be a game changer. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that... So the kid... Go ahead. I was going to say, but they don't really have access to any teleport slots unless it's a kid with a meteorite piece. That's exactly what I was going to say, yeah. So if they find a kid with a meteorite piece, they're going to get a teleport there, um, which could take them to Delam, Summers, Onet, lots of different places. Could even take them to Deep Darkness, um, and that kid could have the Shyness book, which would also lead to another teleport check. Uh, lots of possibilities right now. Like I was saying, the seed hasn't completely opened up yet, so we're just waiting for that to happen. Yeah, and now that you've said that, it, it kind of makes me think we might see a meteorite piece into Deeper Darkness. And here's Pooh, let's find out. Andy gets Jar of Fly paper. Honey. Jar of Fly Honey. Okay, well, that's also a teleport. True. One we didn't mention. Uh, 
So for people who are unfamiliar with PK Scramble as a whole, um, there are some different, uh, it is a key item randomizer. So things like the Jar of Fly Honey, well in vanilla, of course you need it to progress. Here, it's going to let you get inside Belch Bay, so you don't have to actually use it on the boss. In fact, it's used up as soon as you try to go in there. Mm-hmm. Which is a nice quality of life, I think. Okay, I'm sorry, I muted my server because it's like beeping like crazy, so I'm sorry if you could hear that. Oh no, I couldn't hear him. Okay, good. Cause it's in my ear. All right, so, uh, but if they go to, uh, which pretty much is kind of the only place to go right now is to do Belch Base and then Milky Well. Do we think we're gonna see a Deep Darkness teleport since they have the Hawkeye? I mean, I don't want to see it, <laughs> but I think <laughs> I think it's a distinct possibility for sure. Because that could be another kid check. It could be Paula, like we were talking about earlier, and everything she comes with. It could be Jeff with another key item. Um, but other than that kid check in Deeper Darkness, they're just going to have access to Tinda Village, which, if they don't find Shyness Book, is going to be a dead end. Yeah, and it looks like Unknown is spending some time doing some shopping, which I don't know if I would recommend right now. Um, I think I'd probably just go straight to Belch Base like Andy's doing. I think so as well, especially since I think the technical bomb is... It's only by Jeff, right? Mm, I, I think it is well, a no, bomb. you can use bombs. Everyone can use bombs, that's right. Yeah, but I think it's a bottle rocket. Then why is it called bomb? It uses the bottle rocket effect as a bomb item. So it's like PSI rocket, but on a bomb that anybody can use. Oh, okay, cool. You know the extended really well. I personally don't. I kind of just play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I generate oh, food Berserk and. Berserk now said, <laughs> "Sorry, Berserk now said, hopefully progression is deep darkness for the suffering." <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a little little hardcore for a thirty year old game. <laughs> for the suffering. We're finding Mondo Mole in the Belch base. I didn't think he'd put up too much of a fight, and he didn't. Unknown finding, finding out. That. Yeah, the cabin key. Which... Eh. Eh. Uh, eh. Great question, Darts Turtle Games uh, asking chat. Uh, is the pencil racer still a thing? Yes, it is. In fact, you need it to access Peaceful Rest Valley to get to the lobby put sank there. And you also need it for Monkey Cave. And it's also optional to use in Southern Winters to get past Brick Road Dungeon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think we just saw Onet. I think we just saw an Onet teleport. From the uh, Saturn Coffee. Yeah. And this is kind of uh, the, the time I was talking about a and a saving uh, with his earlier clears of like every check he came across now yeah. unknown is backtracking to finish moonside to finish uh apple kid in search of a new check and there's not going to be anything there for him no he should have just gone straight to saturn valley but maybe he's thinking uh, uh, i don't know i don't know what he's thinking because that's getting that's going to get you a sank right there so early sank early experience I guess it's not super early anymore. They've been playing for nearly 20 minutes. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, it, it can make the difference. And maybe he just didn't feel confident uh, as, you know, solo Ness with not great equipment. Mm -hmm. But, you know, right. after... Oh, after and Andy's fighting a nightmare. <laughs> gross. <laughs> hey, ew, gross. Ew. That weirdo ruined my day. I ever want to see. <laughs> Never just wants to be friends. <laughs> he is plunking away at this, though. If we can get through it, and uh, unknown about to see the the item that he got. What was it? Was Hawkeye the monkey? It, it was Hawkeye, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking they're gonna get Deep Darkness um, here pretty soon.
Yeah, that's a, a distinct possibility. I mean, it could be a little bit of a goose hunt. I mean, if they got to teleport to Winters or something like that, you know, that's technically another key item. That key item could be Bubblegum. Bubblegum could be another Sank. I mean, it's possible, at least. Uh, and unknown turning <laughs> in the zombie paper. Yeah, and using it. Is he forgetting that you could... Did, did he not see that he got... And Andy is still fighting... <laughs> still fighting uh, the nightmare. Which sank was this? Which sank was Milky Well? It was first. It was first? Oh, no. Yeah. No. No. no yeah, it, wa no. it was. It was. And we're seeing our first death. I think, right? That's the first death. Uh, uh, that is the first death. Rip Andy. Unknown taking the long way to Saturn Valley. He, I mean, and this is something that we've talked about in these races. It is so, oh, there's a Casey Bat one. That is a validated hey run. But uh, it's so easy to forget. It's like, oh, well, I haven't, you know, you started off in Saturn Valley, but you quickly left it because there were no checks there. It's easy to forget you have a teleport spot. Mm -hmm. Getting a hard hat and a viper. Uh, alternatively, it could be a strat because he might think, well, this is out of logic. Maybe the gear in there is good. I have some repel sandwiches. I'm just going to go check. I was also going to say that, like wanting to pick up the items and also see what the little sales guy outside of the cave has. Okay. Um, no. As an official... That. As official commentator of PK Scramble, that guy is always a scammer. Never talk to him. <laughs> it's really a waste of time. But, and it's a big but, um, I'm with Clone of It can't be hurt. So sometimes you will have a, a little repelly on it, you know, or something else kind of sweet. I'll take your word for it. I sleep happier at night never talking to that guy. Okay, Andy going straight for the arcade. Um, and then probably gonna, you know, we'll see how this is scaled. Those are... What? Those are Moonside enemies, I believe. Moonside, you're right, you're right, you're right. I always get those mixed up with Fire Spring, because they're the same yeah. sprite, Overworld sprite. So it can be kind of scary, but then we saw the, the Foresight guy. Andy can get through here. And then... Okay, so that was a strat on Unknown Side because he did not go to Saturn Valley because he knows that he has it. He was looking for items. Okay. Um, I'm not a bad strat. I I don't know if it's one I would implement. Yeah, I'm, I am a loot goblin. I love to check presents. You never know what could be in there. But your only other kid is Pooh. He really can't use much. Right. Exactly. So if you were looking for, like, gear or anything like that, it's going to be basically useless. And here's Andy fighting a heavily armed Pokey. He's basically finding all the worst enemies in the game. <laughs> yeah. <he's... laughs> the good news is he, he has, like, all the big bads uh, checked off on his bingo card. Right. Yeah, yeah. Get him out of the way. And Andy going into a regular fight. Oh no, it's Gygus somehow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why is there a row of clumsy robots? It and must. Eden is not being nice. Yeah, and I, I did roll this one, so. Usually mine are pretty tame. Well, Clone, we're glad that you're here anyway. Thank you for joining. Play more Earthbound. Abs That's what I'll also say. Yeah, absolutely. And if anybody is new, anybody has questions, you know, feel free to pop them in chat. We'll we're, we're watching the chat. We'll answer them for you. Yeah, absolutely. And um, join the Discord as well. Tons of great humans in there. Everyone's super helpful and kind and fun, and you'll love them. And it's a wonderful community to be a part of. And after a litany of evil bosses, Captain Strong is finally defeated. <laughs> okay, so let's see what Andy gets from this. Tendacrot! Oh my god! This is a... Are you serious? 
We are going to deeper darkness. <laughs> I can't. All right, so let's see if Unknown goes straight to Onet or if he also tries to do... Oh, he's going to Milky Well. He's going. He's going. All right, he's about to find... <clears throat> double hockey stick. Now you see that brain scrambler over there on Andy's screen. That is a Jeff item. That is brain shock as a Jeff item. Right, which you would want if you were doing just a race percent, not necessarily needed in uh, Doc Saturn Seed per se. Yeah, it's for sure not needed. It can be helpful. I think you can brain shock Dog if he shows up. I'd rather see paralysis. Oh, for sure. Just me. Okay, so Andy's gonna pick up that Tendercrot. I have to imagine he's going to uh, check the library next. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can't imagine. <clears throat> we'll see if Unknown can get through uh, this nightmare fight. And that'll be a bit of an advantage for him because then he will have a sink down. About to see what the library item is. Signed banana. So that's a sank. Okay. That's another sank. Which they only have access to two right now, if I'm if my math's mm -hmm. correct here. Right. If they got the pencil eraser, then then they're gonna have access to three. Yeah. Um, and they might get they might pick up the pencil eraser in Magnet Hill, because you're also gonna get a key item check there. For sure, yeah, and it's the only sanctuary that also refunds its own key item for access. Um, I have to imagine, I don't know, I, I just can't get over the idea that they're going to deeper darkness and that Lumine Hall and Fire Springs are going to be their last two. That is a, that's, that seems fair uh, and unknown. Um, still... Oh, Tipping the... away at the old nightmares, feeling the wrath of nightmare. Uh, crazy that this is the first sanctuary. Are we sure that's the first one? I I'm almost positive. Yeah, Unfortunately, the the flash. Uh, hold on, we're gonna see technical bomb. Oh, oh, it wait. it it missed. So it is a it rocket. Missed. It missed. Try again. Let's try again. Come on, I know you got this. Andy must have used up all his durability. Oh, but you yeah. can't use it very well. You can't use it very well. That's what I was saying. Okay. See, that's where the PSI extension can get very tricky because you don't know. Okay, so I think the opposite of what I said is true then. That is a Jeff item bottle rocket that acts like a bomb. It's a little clumsy robot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my bingo Roadie sandwiches and beat it my bingo card is almost filled out uh, we just need to see electro specter next I don't mind clumsy the, with the PSI they have it's it's not very good because you know wave is dependent on speed freeze is not very good auto fight. well it's great if you have paralysis because you could just paralyze them and then boom you're done. oh for but... sure we haven't seen a ton of paralysis in the PSI extension. Um, the past few seeds have had it, but bef like before that, I don't think I saw one in any of the qualifiers I did, in any of the practice seeds that I did. Um, it can be kind of uh, elusive. And uh, Andy is through. Yep, so we're going to see what Magnet Hill has, and that's going to be his first sank. Well, not his first sank, but cleared, first cleared sank. And uh, going back to what you said about paralysis, it can be so hard to get, because there's really only a handful of useful, like, uh, it is Pencil Eraser, by the way. It was Pencil Eraser, okay. It so can be have Cabin Key. Yeah. So that's uh, that's going to be another kid check for him. That's going to be a Sank. Um, I, I don't item. know. Another Could item. Two items. Mm hmm for sure. And I, I don't know about you, but I like, even if I don't have the Franklin badge, I like to pop in on Car Painter, see what those presents have. Oh, yeah, there can be some, there can be some great gifts in there. But going back to what you said, yeah, the support PSI, uh, in terms of non-shield abilities, uh, 
like paralysis, hypnosis, brain shock, those are really, really hard to find in an extended PSI shelf. And if you see a situation like here, we saw that brain shock was on a Jeff item. We don't have Jeff. We don't know where Jeff is. So you just don't have access to that. And even if you do have access to Jeff, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to find that item for him to use and utilize, right? Exactly. Meanwhile, you're stuck with Ness as a flash in his rocking spot and a PSI <laughs> slime. <laughs> Go, Ness! <laughs> Loot Goblin! And it looks like Andy is, I mean, this is what you got to do in this situation. You're going to Peaceful Rest Valley. <laughs> yeah. You can easily, like, the cave, um, the dungeon, quote unquote, for Milky Well is so small and so short that it's an easy sank to leave if you aren't able to complete it for the end of Seed. And just breeze through it, you know, because by the time you get, you're done with your other three sanks, the enemies are going to be scared of you. You're just going to be able to run through it, you know? Absolutely. And I didn't see if he did this, but I do know he picked up some return mice from the mines. So setting your mouse there for, you know, your last sank, you can go check the uh, Doc Saturn shop right after. Because after you clear your required number of sanctuaries, a new shop opens up in Saturn Valley. Usually it has some pretty good stuff. Yeah, and I wonder, okay, so here's a question, and we can maybe get some opinions in the chat. Um, would you rather check the Doc Sat or the the Mr. Saturn shop or the Puddin' Boy shop? Ooh, I Which see. Which do you think has better items? If I had to choose in, in a Doc Saturn race, I'm going to check that if I, if it's not too far out of the way. Like, I have a mouse there. I'm going to check the Saturn shop every time over Puddin'. Because the, the Puddin only has two slots, an extra one with uh, Shop Sanity, and both of those are going to be geared towards uh, PSI healing items uh, and pendants, obviously. And we just got a sub from Mick McGurk. Thank you so much. Enjoy those emotes. Right? Isn't that what Twitch people say? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Aren't you a gamer girl? <laughs> I got my headset on right now. I tell you think there's going to be another kid in the cabin. Oh, there's a newest man chasing him. You know who I'm ready for. No, I want Jeffrey. I'm ready for Teddy on this one. A Teddy who has his own key so you can immediately free him. <laughs> they already have the cabin key. Oh, oh, that's the key a, to the shack. Yeah, a, a they get key. the key to the shack. That's go mode. That's true, because this is going to be their access to the third sank. All right, and unknown using that return mouse and heading straight to Tucson. So we're going to see what we're getting from this little happy, happy village. And Andy is looting the cultist house. And there's a rabbit's and foot in there. Rabbit's foot. I didn't see what the other one was. This is going to be so fast. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because Pooh has um, PSI rocking. Banana stand. You know, there's always money in the banana stand. I've heard that. <laughs> Looks like it's frozen bananas in this seed, by the way. Okay, somehow Andy juking those enemies. It's Paula. It is Paula, and um, he just used a pencil eraser. <laughs> Why isn't this working? <laughs> I think he got confused when he saw the the motorcade guarding her outside. Yeah, both unknown and Andy were going through a gauntlet of enemies. Paula comes with a bagel. Very nice. She also gave the hieroglyph copy. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, I missed that. Wow, another useless item. Love it. I love this journey. Not not if Lumine Hall is their fourth sank. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true, but they don't have summers. Not yet. 
There's a meteorite really piece out there. Oh my god. Ooh, and there's the okay penance. Yeah, some good items here in the Happy Happy Village shop, which is fairly typical. You, sh you typically find some pretty good items here in Happy Happy Village. And a making what I think is the correct choice, selling that buffalo yogurt. And the rabbit's foot. Ooh, buffalo yogurt. Gross. You know, chunks of chicken and celery in it? Like, what? No. I guess maybe if it was Greek yogurt, it could be good. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. I'll stop. Speaking of tangents, for the people who are not acquainted with PK Scramble, do you want to tell them about OK Pendants? Yeah, so they're just kind of OK. Um, so in the game, in vanilla, you get several different pendants. Um, you get flame pendant and a sea pendant and a night pendant. Um, there's also star pendants, but those are a 1128 draw. Um, and it's basically just like um, it's a defense armor, and each one of them uh, protects against certain PSI attacks. So obviously the flame pendant would protect you against fire attacks. Um, I believe the C pendant attacks, protects you against ice. So the OK pendant, um, Tolmar programmed it so that it protects you, of, like, what is it, like 25% against all attacks? Is that what the stat is? Yeah, so uh, everything's rated on a scale of like one to three in terms of protection. The fire pendant protects against fire at a rate of two. OK does that for fl uh, fi fire, freeze, fire and freeze at one, I think. That made no sense. What? <laughs> what do you, what? <laughs> Anyways, it protects against attacks, and so they're good to have better than nothing, and that's why they're kind of okay. Yeah, so it's it's about 25 to 33%, I think. Okay, thank you. That makes more sense in my brain. I don't know what this 1 to 2 ratio, I don't know what. Math. No, no, no math. <laughs> no math. Third location for Andy. And unknown kind of hot on his heels here. They both have Magnet Hill. Uh, Andy still has to settle a grudge with Nightmare. Yeah. So does Unknown. Unknown getting stuck in that cave. Doesn't want to fight those UFOs, which I don't blame. But might have to. And Andy's through Titanic Ant with a big ol' smash. So that's going to be two sanks. And I have to imagine we're going to see Everdread right after this. Or the boss of Bergman oh, Park, yeah. I should say. Right, yeah. Um, because there's... N I don't think there's anything else to do, given what they have. Um, they don't have access to a lot of the key items that they possess right now. No. What do you think we're going to see here? Because we can't see Bubblegum, they don't have a teleport location. We could see UFO Engine, which would let them get to Summers. Mm -hmm. We could see a uh, Police Badge, actually. I, I was thinking Police Badge from Everdread Check, and that's going to get them access to Northern Onet. And that's a few more teleports and a key item. Crested Book is in Mad Taxis in the Valley. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, um, clone of me, you haven't lived till you've seen uh, Frankie <laughs> wiggle his butt across the ocean on the boat ride. <laughs> Shuffled enemies can be pretty, pretty humorous. And you know, I'm gonna say you never really get used to it. You know, you just don't. I tell you one thing I never get used to, just Boogie Tent's mouth. <laughs> Meteorite piece? Oh! Here I piece. Okay. All right. What do we think it's going to be? Do we think I'm thinking Summers? I I was just about to say it's going to be teleport to Summers, which is going to open up the boat to Scaraba, which they have the hieroglyph copy, and then they're going to take the boat ride to deeper darkness. <laughs> <laughs> take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. It's okay. I know it's really exciting, and he didn't buy the pair of dirty socks, and I don't understand why. I mean, that's what I want to see. I, I want to see it just go off the rails in terms of logic. But I'm sure both of these racers are like, please, let it in. What if it's, what if it's, okay, but it also could be a teleport to Underworld. And then that's <laughs> Forsank, for sure. Yeah. That's not as exciting. 
not as exciting. I'm just speculating here. True. I'll find out. I'll I mean, and, and sometimes, it. sometimes you do get uh, those off the wall items that just have nothing to do with logic. They've gotten a Hawkeye. They've gotten a hieroglyph copy. They may never use them. And but I. The crot. We're gonna see a dumb meme here. What's Andy gonna do? Heck. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> That's a sentiment I think we all can live by. <laughs> Andy has had bouts with Nightmare before. This is not his first battle. Um, oh, you two have a history as well. <laughs> the great Nightmare debacle. Uh, yes, I have also lost my mind. It's Lost, lost Underworld. underworld. <laughs> okay, all right, nice. Not as exciting, I'm sorry. Not as exciting, but I think... Uh, that Andy is kind of ahead here. Uh, oh, he still needs to do Nightmare, but, you know, Unknown's not really that far behind. If we see a death on Andy's side, this this could be lockstep uh, within each other's uh, race. And it's a spine and... Sp uh, it's a... He's turning in the Tinder crowd. Yeah, well, that, uh, the Tinder crowd, um... Shop is worth checking. You think so? Yeah, oh, okay. Oh yeah, for sure. Look, T-Rex bat, flame pendant. There's good stuff there. True, and I guess it doesn't take that long. But I'm no. just like I hear four sayings, and there's an alarm bell going off in my head. I'm like, go, go, <laughs> go, go. Yeah, not even Andy. Not even checking to get it up there. He uh, is fighting through Lily footsteps. Yeah, I think he ran out of those uh, durians pretty early on. Um, mm -hmm. Andy making find those. That was in Moonside, right? Moonside, yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna go back there and oh, a surprising green on unknown side. That's a nice reprieve. For sure, and I don't know if you caught this, but Andy actually saved right outside of Fire Springs I as did a see contingency. That. Yeah, that is um, a strat that is used quite a bit in the ancient races because. You can die and come back there, and then you have the um, the geysers that can revive your party. Mm -hmm. For anyone not aware, Ancient Cave is the other Earthbound randomizer, um, and it's based off the Lufia 2 Ancient Cave. So every room is a different room, and you go up the floors until you defeat Googie. Yeah, what, whereas uh, PK Scramble is a key item randomizer that randomizes the key items you need to access places, but it's generally like the same map style as uh, Vanilla Earthbound. Ancient Cave is a room-to-room -room randomizer, so it's right. like you go through a door, you never know where you're going to end up. You definitely don't want to see those uh, those pictures. Okay, and unknown getting his lily put sank. Um, does he have any return mice left? I I'm unsure if he does. But didn't did he get Milky Will? I think he did, didn't he? No, he didn't. He okay. also died tonight. He also died. His nightmare was a literal nightmare. So. <laughs> We're gonna see which sank this is, and it's the fourth. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's uh, Deluxe, which honestly I'd rather see than Starman Jr. TBH. Oh, for sure. Like, when you're not talking about attack script shuffling, Starman Jr. is the worst without protection from fire and ice. Very rude. Very, very rude. Uh, but this is my fourth slot on bingo. We're going to see my boy over on the right. <laughs> Caterpillar man. <laughs> All right, and Andy taking, uh, making quick work of the old Starman Deluxe and taking a fight. Oh Which, no. There are almost always, there's almost always a sprite spawn right there at the top of the fire spring. Oh my gosh, if he dies. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh, there's no. no way he's he dying. He won't, yeah. he won't, he won't. He won't. Um, but there is almost always a sprite up there. And it looks like uh, Unknown had the same idea as you, heading to go get some mice. I'm not sure if I'd do it at this point in the game. I would not do it. I would just go straight to Everdread. Wait, was Everdread worth it? Was he Pencil Eraser? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, okay, he was, right? Yeah. No. No, he wasn't Pencil Eraser. No, he Magnet was... Hill was Pencil Eraser. What was Everdread? 
meteorite piece, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Which gives you Underworld. Okay, so unknown. Getting some good experience there, at least. Yeah, if you can protect against those fire attacks that the uh, caterpillars have, they're definitely worth a lot of XP. Oh, whoa! Those caterpillars came out of nowhere! Are you serious? <laughs> Come on now! <laughs> the rogue caterpillars just coming from the bushes! <laughs> and and I know I know you at home don't have audio to Unknown Stream, but I do, and those caterpillars <laughs> popped out and said, we're here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Andy heading back to Saturn Valley to take care of that last sank, um, and then he will receive the teleport to Magicant and be on his merry way. I and I also cannot believe, but we're gonna watch and make sure that I wasn't mistaken earlier, but I believe this is the first sank, and that nightmare was throwing out star storms and alpha, not even like one of the reduced PSIs that uh, that Jay Tomar's yeah, added. I, I really want to see if it was the first sank. I, I just don't know. Birds aren't real. Dinosaurs are. Uh, and I will say, um, Andy is a really good Earthbound runner. Andy is just good at video games in general. He's one of those people. Um, and I would like to say that Unknown is putting up a wonderful race against Andy. Um, oh, for sure. Unknown a bit, I feel like a bit newer to the scramble um, and doing a really good job of following the seed logic and doing what he can. So I am proud of both of them. Oh, especially for a seed like this. You got Generate Food and Extended PSI Shuffle. Your inventories are a mess. A and mess. They already are in Earthbound anyway. Oh, and I will also say that if you're playing a casual seed... Definitely throw on generate food and see what it's all about because it's a really fun flag to add to your, you know, like I said, just a casual run through. Maybe if you're taking more time to read some of the like text that Tolmar has added in and things like that. Um, obviously, the flag set has been added for the tournament. I would think mainly because it's going to randomize the repel sandwiches which is a large key component in scramble racing um so it does add an extra layer of difficulty to an already fairly difficult flag setting yeah i'll agree to that and um if you've not had much experience with pk scramble go play a casual seed go play an eight mm -hmm. sank talk to everybody there's so yes. many little touches that have been added to the game that are yeah, just it's great wonderful it's so fun yeah Definitely worth taking your time with the first couple of times you play through it. And then I would say, like, you know, try to speed run it. But have fun with it at first, because it's it's worth it. And Tomar has put a lot of love and charm into the game that is very reminiscent of the original game. And we do see Andy checking the Doc Saturn shop, so your wish has come true, Ness. Yes. And we see a flannel apple. And a big league bat! <laughs> Flannel apple? Ooh, what is that? I gotta Google that right now. Uh, some of the things are made up, I believe. No. They must be real. No, it's made up. Ew. Flannel mouth? Oh, that's an awful name for a hard cider. Ugh. Would you ever <laughs> drink? Would you ever drink a beverage called flannel mouth? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> James says, "Enjoy and have fun." Then, when you're tired of having fun, try speed running. <laughs> yes, exactly. 
And Andy is in the last stretch of the race here. All four sinks down in Magic Camp. Maybe going to check a few presents. You still have some time to get in your guess for the Ness's Nightmare slot enemy, the final boss of the game. Who do you think, Slug? I always go with Mini Barf. That's my go-to. Um, and I was also going to mention that Andy doesn't have any repels. So the fight to get to the Sea of Eden is going to be just that, a fight. Uh, a lot of despawning, I would imagine, or perhaps just bearing his way through, I'm not sure. And this could give Unknown time to catch up. If he has, if he gets really stuck and dies or something like that. I just saw the enemies he went past. Not only do you have these robo pumps, there are red master criminal worms there. And uh, that surfer dude. Uh, deadly mouse. He's trying to get green swirls. And there's the pit bull slugs. These are nasty enemy packs. Yeah, yeah. And I think Unknown kind of may be forgetting that this was the first sank and doesn't need to necessarily try to run away or despawn the enemies and just can kind of just barrel through. But I suppose to save time, it would be best to despawn. And Andy, like, just go just sending it, just going. Just going straight for it. <laughs> the oh, enemies keep gosh. getting worse and worse. Yeah, and he keeps getting cruise rolls. This is insane. Oh, a sudden guts pill. Love that. <laughs> yeah, that's going to help him out a lot. Straight to the ground. Uh, he did <laughs> yeah. sell that rabbit's foot, didn't he? I'm not crazy, am I? For 900, he did. God bless. I, I would not sell it. Not for 900. How much? Oh, there it is. He's got it. Oh, I thought he sold it. No, I could have sworn I saw that it said... Oh, no, he's... What? How is, How he, is doing he doing this? this? How is he doing this? What? Oh, no, he just had a fire accident! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! This is a death. This is a death. No. Oh, no. It, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you get a green swirl and you don't automatically hit run away, there is a chance that when you choose to run away, they're not going to let you. And those caterpillars... Caterpillars are so fast that you're not going to be able to run away from them. This could be the break that Unknown needs. Yeah, this is it for Andy. And I hate to see a death on Andy's side, but with all those green swirls he was getting, I was about to get Jay Tomar was, on the phone because he had some cheats was, activated. It was a lot. It was a lot. Okay, here we go. This is, you guys, you guys. Ooh, 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 this is exciting. And we still haven't seen Ness's Nightmare, so get your guesses in the chat on who that's going to be. Zerk now is an entomologist. Oh, that's neat. That's, that is really neat. Right. Here we go again. <laughs> I have to... I have to say, he has a desert access, right? Couldn't he... Well, he might not see durians there, though. Right, and it's not guaranteed. And especially with Generate Food, the items for Monkey Cave are going to be completely different. And they could not even ask for a repel, you know, quote-unquote. But we do see... Unknown going to check, regardless. And... Yeah, no, there's nothing. There's a baggie of seeds! That's about it. Yeah, so for to go a little more in-depth while we're watching this horrible slog on Andy's side. Um, Did you call me? <laughs> I said... Sorry, I had to. <laughs> um, yeah, so the different repel items, it's not just completely made-up stuff that is random. It's based on the food categories already in Earthbound. I don't know if we touched on this before. So, like, you could have repel... Instead of repel sandwiches, which you often find at, like, bakeries and, and shops that you know, sell, like, bread and stuff like that. You can also have Repel Hamburgers, which you're going to find at more burger-side locations. Or the durian, that's going to be found on kind of like the Eastern-themed food vendors, like in Dalam or Scaraba. Yeah, and you do see Unknown over here checking all those normal checks. So normally, if you were playing uh, n without Generate Food, you would be able to find... Um, 
human packet. Uh, you would be able to find repels in bakeries and the occasional shop hand. Um, but since this is generate food, he is not going to find those at that place since it was in Moonside and it was a durian. I think that's going to be Eastern. Is that correct? Like Eastern countries? That is true. So, um... I think what Unknown is doing here is a little desperate, but it kind of makes sense. He, I think he's looking for that shop, Sanity 1, out wait, of wait, those... Wait, Unknown hasn't done Fire Springs, never mind. Oh. I thought he had finished Fire Springs. Shoot, well, I mean, Andy can't get through this gauntlet, then there is still a chance. And uh, I didn't say earlier, but I think that Ness's Nightmare is going to be Kraken. Yeah, and I don't think it will be Diamond Dog, because there is un... Uh, there is safe boss placement turned on oh that only counts does that, for does that count for oh does that not count for magic camp? it okay. does not count for magic camp boss Ooh, but the absolute Jesus. worst we could see i don't think we've seen it this seed trillion age sprout of which you often see in the sea of eden just hanging out and we have andy there right now there's barf can't be barf is it gonna be is it gonna be oh my god oh my god yeah it's, it's evil, evil man and penny not too bad. Not too bad at all. <laughs> it's definitely no Ness's nightmare. No. I'm still shocked he got through that gauntlet. Oof. That death, really. I mean, like I said, I think we had lost track of the Sanks that Unknown had done. And if Unknown had had Fire Springs finished, that would have been a catch up for sure. Which makes sense why Unknown was kind of doing a couple of other things before he went here. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, Unknown's put up a, a really great fight, but absolutely sometimes fight, Andy yeah. can't be stopped. And that's going to be a GG in chat. Woo! Good job, Andy. That was a rough one. And it looks like he's already in general, so I'm going to go ahead and pull him in for commentary. Please do. Andy! Hello. Are you okay? I'm angry, man. <laughs> oh no! In back-to-back -back fights, man, my my D-pad just went crazy. Andy. <laughs> oh, you were having technical issues. Are you I okay? I don't understand it, but yes. Okay. Because <laughs> well, I didn't want to auto fight those times I tried to run away. Oh, okay. Because I was mentioning like if you don't run away immediately after a green swirl, there is a chance that it will not give you yeah, the sure runaway. Didn't. And with the caterpillar, it's almost guaranteed. Yeah, I know. Be able to. I was kind yeah. of rolling the dice and hoping. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I was trying to run away. Let it be known. Uh, what did you think about that first sank being nightmare and being Nerf so nightmare, hideous? Dude. Nerf hideous. What the heck dude. was that? What was that? Why was he so much stronger than everybody he was else? So mean. I know. Uh, we we actually mentioned that it was surprising to me that in that first sanctuary slot it had a uh, starstorm alpha. Usually you would see like an epsilon or or an oh, iota. Okay, fair enough. It was rough. Any other comments about the seed and how you felt? Um, you read logic, etc. What about all the? Uh, I did literally everything that... on the way, man. <laughs> <laughs> key items that had no use. <laughs> I, I that logic. I read that logic so horribly wrong that I did literally everything on the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it was necessarily you reading the logic wrong. It was just there were a lot of items that were kind of dead ends. Yeah, there sure were. Yeah. Although oh, no, that no, last. No. That last teleport, I was crossing my fingers for a Summers, to Boat Ride, to <laughs> to Submarine, to Deep Darkness, as Lumine Hall for the fourth, but... Mm. Andy's like, no, you weren't playing. No. No. <laughs> well, nonetheless, wonderful job as always. Thank you. And you will move on to the next round, and Unknown will go to the Lover's Bracket. We're going to see How lovely. Now that will be is, is that what is that what we're calling the uh the other bracken i yeah well i just don't like ever i don't like calling it you know the losers bracket because it's you know oh yeah for sure I mean, we're not losers well, well i was a loser for, for a little bit when ness's nightmare cheated <laughs> he was cheating hard. Oh, it looks like Andy just dropped Unknown to follow. I did. They followed me back already. So. 
They followed me before the race, so I'm, I'm doing the, the follow for follow thing. Yeah, and, and um, everyone, if you haven't followed Andy, Unknown, um, definitely go and drop them follows. Both wonderful runners and people to hang out with. Also, I want to say that Super Plush Bear came in clutch. <laughs> Oh, did it? Did you pick that up along the way to Magic or to I, Seed of I picked, Eden? I picked the, the Super Plush Bear up in uh, the Happy Happy Church. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it'll, that's it'll a good place forever. to check. It mm -hmm. lived forever. <laughs> and I grabbed the Knight of Night Pendant in Berglund because I, I'm respecting Flash forever now. <laughs> Respect Flash forever. <laughs> As it, did it get you? Well, that's what Ness's nightmare did to me. Remember? Yeah. Oh, is that what happened? I don't yeah, remember. You, there was a lot going strange. on. Okay. <laughs> I made me feel strange, and it was awful. Yeah, Flash as is very good to be used against the party, and it's not very useful except for against a couple of bosses, um, which is kind of unfortunate for for a PSI there. Even the scaled down ones, you know, instead of instantly killing you, you know, like you said, it can make you feel strange, and that. That's kind of a death sentence in itself. Yeah. So it looks like Unknown is going to be racing against Crimson Green in the next matchup. And Andy will be going against Jav. Jav. Old Javinator. Javinator. And um, what do we want to see from the next, um, you know... Brackets, flag sets. What do we think would be fun to do? I don't know. <laughs> Video games? <laughs> extended, <laughs> extended PSI shuffle. It's so, even more extended. Snake even tag. More? No, not snake tag, please. No, no, no. Snake no, tag, no, snake no, tag, no, snake no, tag, no, snake no, tag, no, snake no, tag. No, I was joking, no snake tag. Yeah, tech. save that one no. for the finals. No, no. Uh, no. Listen, the only way Snake Tag is fun to watch is if you can hear the runner, and there is no way possible we would be able to do that and keep it PG-13. That's all there is to it. No ifs, ands, or buts, okay? I don't want to hear it. It's not possible. Me neither. Well, good job, Andy. Thanks for racing. Hey, thanks. And we'll get those brackets updated. And uh, I believe once all the round ones are finished, then we can start planning um, round two, which they should be finished up within the next couple of days. Let me check my planner. So, so we have two races tomorrow. We have um, a race at 5 p.m. Central which is going to be Jay Tolmar and Static Pulse. Oh, and snap. then in the evening, we have the second race at 8 p.m. Central, which is going to be Charles and Nanobite. Um, and I do believe that we need commentary for the second race. So if anyone is interested in um, volunteering, it is always welcome. When just, is this race? Uh, it's tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central. So just contact an admin and we will get you set up and yeah should be super fun so tomorrow will be packed with races nice little sunday treat in the evening and we're gonna finish up uh watch unknown finishing up through this gauntlet of magicant you should have bought more than two dairy races <laughs> uh, yeah right well they were kind of expensive and then you didn't see them anywhere bucks. else no i didn't they're like 70 bucks a pop and i was like yeah uh, I mean, you feel honestly, the brain the brain food desserts came in clutch too yeah i you definitely utilize those for sure do you feel like it might have been worth it to go back to moonside to buy a no, couple of durians absolutely not. <laughs> okay i didn't think so <laughs> i probably should have restocked after i died to ness's nightmare but i aside from that nah <laughs> I, I just kept buying brain food desserts because I'm like, eh. Oh, no. thank that. you, Nano. Yeah, I got that wrong. Sorry, it's 9 p.m. Central um, for the Aww. second race tomorrow. I got mixed up because the first race was in Eastern, so I was trying to do math, which I shouldn't. I should never do math. 
Math is hard. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so there'll be, and I, I, I tried to see if it would be possible to get the race a little earlier so that we could just do a one, like a double header, um, but it wasn't possible, which is fine. So mark your calendars. What's a calendar? It, it, well, there's one on your phone. Oh, yeah. you, can, you, you can put in like little notes and stuff. That's what I, I have to do that. I have like three different planners, like five different calendars. <laughs> I have to have everything like planned out. And okay, so Unknown has made it to the Sea of Eden. And he will soon come across evil money money. So evil. Which, I, I mean, I wonder if, like, Nightmare had been at that spot, if it had been easier or not, you know? Because that first Nightmare was so rude. He was pretty rough, for sure. I mean, I would, we would have PSI Power Shield at this mm -hmm. point. We would have... Um, we would have access to... Um, neutralize, because Pooh had Neutralize. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, yeah, probably. And it's always kind of unfortunate. We we kind of touched on this earlier in seeing an extended PSI shuffle without Jeff, because I always feel like he's kind of a key component of it. Yeah, depends absolutely. On what, depends on what gets shuffled, really. I mean, the fact that the fact that no one had PSI Rocket for right. a change or PSI GGs Bomb for Unknown Chat. GGs. Great race by Unknown. Truly did a wonderful job. Uh, against a, a beast like Andy, to be honest, um, he like for the for the most part of the of the race, like he was pretty close to you, Andy. And then a certain couple of things got away and pulled ahead. Hi, unknown. You there? If you're there, we can't hear you, hon. I forgot to unmute myself. <laughs> there you are. Hi. Good. Hello. GG. I'm calling about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, those were uh, they caught me off guard. <laughs> they came out of nowhere. I was like what? They, <laughs> they really did though. It was it was pretty crazy. And that first time when I went to Ness's nightmare, I was like, oh, this is a. Uh, I'll come back to this. Right, and Andy did the same thing. Um, that Nessus Nightmare as a first sank was hideous. Just absolutely horrid. It was... A, we've Nerf been nightmare. speculating yeah, what's going on with that and why it was so just mean. It's mean always, but it seemed especially mean because when you see Nightmare early on in a seed, typically you can take care of it pretty easily, but not that one. Right. He, was, he was healthy, and he had Flash, and he was mm -hmm. a jerk. He had, like, he had like 600 health for a yeah, first yeah. That's a Yeah, you must have hit him with ha uh, a dozen freezes for 70, around 70 each. I, I was yeah, watching was that. Awful. What did you yeah, think on known of the seed? I, I actually enjoyed it. I did a practice seed earlier today, and my big concern was just like, I didn't want to keep ramming my head against the wall. And once. We got to Ness's Nightmare, and then I got past that. I was like, I'll put this on the back burner. Going mm -hmm. to Moonside really helped out. Um, and once I got there, it was just kind of free rolling up until uh, Fire Spring, I guess. Okay, question. What was your thought process in Moonside? Because you went there, you looted, and then you scooted, where the enemies were pretty low level, so you probably could have defeated Plague Rat on your own? Did you feel like you just weren't prepared or you wanted to go check out a couple of other checks? Yeah, I think I remember seeing an enemy. I think it was, was it diamond enemies? I can't remember, but they kind of scared me and I was just like, mm -hmm. well, I'll come back to this too. Um, yeah. Gotcha, because we also saw that early on with the Apple Kid check. You went to the department store to sell that uh, Brainstone, and I was like, oh, he, he's he got to be going to do Apple Kid, which is, you know, what I would, might 
do as well. And but then uh, you went up the escalator, and I was like, oh well, maybe not. <laughs> I didn't have any food. Oh. Um, I went to the Saturn Valley shop to stock up on food. I mm-hmm. sold my Mr. Baseball cap and my Brainstone. Yes. Bought yes. A Holmes hat and a ban- and a frozen something or other. <laughs> yeah, frozen I, banana. Uh, I was gonna do the Apple Kid check. But when I realized I didn't have any food, and then I didn't have enough money, so I was like, well, I guess I'll be coming back to this one, too. Yeah, and I guess from what you said about Moonside, um, I understand seeing those diamond enemies can be alarming, but those diamond enemies were from Peaceful Rest Valley. I always forget about that, too. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, they were regular spinning rooms. However, Playground was kind of, like, I'm not going to say tough, but he hit hard. Yeah, you definitely got a clutch life up in there, Andy. And if you hadn't, then I, didn't, I think I didn't you... use life up. I was eating my my brain food desserts. Well, right, but you know, life up being a general term for yeah. replenishing your HP. Delicious, delicious brain food desserts. Sounds good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a great race. Having those durians really helped, and then at the end, I forgot where I got them from, and mm-hmm. I was like. I was like, where did I get them? So I was like, I went to Tucson, then I went to... Th- I saw you checking, yeah. And then I was like, oh, that's right. I got them in Moonside, and I can't go back. And had I, like, had more forethought, I probably wouldn't have freely used those durians as much. But I was like, surely I can get them somewhere else. And then we did Right, well, <laughs> I think yeah. from what I know about Generate Food, and I think Ness can confirm this, um, if it's a durian, then you're going to find Rappel sandwiches in... Um, Delam and Scaraba because it's considered an Eastern food, I believe. We did so not get without the without thing. having those teleports, Moonside was the only place you were going to find them. Yeah, and that's probably the roughest repel to roll when you don't have access to those spots. Mm-hmm. Um, you did see it in Moonside. It shows up there a lot in Moonside as well, the durian, just because welcome to Moonside. Moonside. <laughs> I, I, I just... Um... Moonside... I, I when I realized I wasn't getting more, I just started playing with the gorilla and just started hitting things with my face. <laughs> we noticed, as, yeah. As, as you as you want to do, Andy. <laughs> Any other comments unknown on the scene? Um, no. Uh, it was a great race. I uh, it was a great scene. Enjoyed it, and we move on to the losers bracket. GG. Yeah, you're gonna be up against Crimson next. So I'll see, I'll see you when you come back to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> But great race, everyone. Um, I will mention once again that tomorrow we have two races at 5 p.m. Central and 6 p.m. Eastern. We have Jay Tolmar and Static Pulse. And then at 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, we have Carl and Nanobite. So be sure to tune in there and show your support. And thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. GG to our racers. Thanks again, Slug, for commentating with me. Of course. Thank you for restreaming, and thank you to everyone for always being so wonderful. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.